Hello, my name is Alex, and today I will be showing you how to use a Dwyer Thermal Anometer Series 470, step by step. We will be demonstrating how to use this by using a direct drive blower and 15 feet of 6 inch round duct to simulate a branch in your residence. Let's begin by putting a piece of electrical tape at the 3 inch mark on the anometer probe because it will center the probe in the duct. Then, depress the push to measure switch and observe the condition of the low battery indicator. If it is lighted, replace the batteries. Adjust the mechanical zero screw slot located just below meter and position pointer at zero feet per minute using non-magnetic plastic adjustment tool provided. Set the range switch to low. With the probe tip cover in place, depress the push to measure switch. After a momentary warm up period, the meter will react to the low range zero set control knob. Adjust to position pointer at zero feet per minute. Release the switch. The unit is now ready to take measurements. To take a measurement, Remove the probe tip cover and either insert the probe into the duct through a 3 8 inch or larger hole, or hold the probe in the airstream to be measured. The flow holes through the probe tip must be parallel to airflow. It will be helpful to observe the orientation of the insertion depth scale along the side of the probe tip to keep the tip properly aligned. Depress the push to measure the switch. After a momentary warm up period, read the measured air velocity on the appropriate scale, with an unknown velocity measure first in the high range. The, this time the meter indicates 1500 feet per minute. Upon completion of the measurement, release the push to measure the switch turning the unit off. That concludes our presentation on how to use a wire thermal anometer series 470.